this is Todd with Are You Geek Chic, and welcome as we unbox some fantastic miniatures from the new set. I got a whole brick, but instead of unboxing all of them at the same time, we are just doing two boxes at once. Shorter video, and we're going to actually try and give you a little bit of information about where you can find these particular miniatures in the various books that are out there for reference. So please, if you like what you see and you like my our ideas, subscribe to the YouTube page, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. I would deeply, deeply appreciate it. Now, without further ado, let's see what we have. So the first box. Ooh, is a Muriel. Sort of a weird scorpion type dude holding a sword, a lot of little chitinous type legs. Let's see what additional information we can find on this guy. So, all right. This is one that I could not find additional information on. So if you could, down below in the comments, just say, hey, it's in this book. It may be the new Halister book. I have not picked that up yet. I am still running my group through the uh, Waterdeep, uh, Waterdeep Heist game. So I, I don't have that uh, any stats on that. So if you have it, please comment below so we can look it up and we can let you know. But let's look at the smaller miniatures and see exactly what we received. I am very excited because I finally have a fluff. Very, very cool. So, I know the flump, I believe, is in the Monster Manual. Yep. Page 135 in the Monster Manual. And let's take a quick peek. See how it compares. So far, the pictures uh, in the book have actually looked fairly close to the uh, miniatures. And this one does too. So, here's our flump. And of course, here is the miniature flump. Flumps are pretty cool. They're sort of written as a joke back in the day. Uh, the mysterious flumps drift through the underdark, repel through the air by jets whose sound gives them their name. Armor class 12, 7 hit points, a challenge rating of 1 8, so 25. So, not a difficult creature, but they're just so cool. Um, I need to get like 30 more of those miniatures so I can just sort of like fill a whole cavern with that type of stuff. So, Flump, pretty nice full, very happy. Next miniature is... Ooh, Human Paladin of the Oath of Vengeance. Very nice. I don't have information on this one also. Now, if you look, that Paladin the Oath, I believe, is in the... Let's see, he's a Nanther's Guide. That Paladin might be in there. Let me double check just to see if I jot that information down. It may be also be in a new book also, uh, a bit more detail, yeah, I believe it is. So again, two of the three that I pulled, I don't have the information on, so I do apologize. If you have it, please let us know down in the comments below where we can find particulars on that miniature. And our last miniature that we have pulled is another name, Desmere Shadow Dusk. Wicked looking dude in armor. And again, this one is in the new Halister book, so I don't have his stats. I'll do another video, actually, probably on uh, that book, the miniatures and the stats about what we pulled and circle back around. But again, some nice minis. The color looks great. As I said in the other video, I really like that the bottoms of these are actually white, so they are super, super easy to read. And as I did before, let's take a quick break. If you need to go get a soda, a beer, take a tinkle, please do right now. We'll be back in just a minute to open that second box. Hey, welcome back from your Tinkle Potty Break. Or if you're from the north, you may have gotten a pop. If you're from down in the south, maybe you got a soda. I don't know, but let's see what else we have. We'll open up the second box and take a look at the miniatures that we received. If you hear the cat, the cat's very excited to be outside today. Oh, 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 oh. This is very, very cool. We have received... The Death Tyrant. Awesome. I have never used this as the DM. Now that I have the miniature, I will definitely use it. The Giant Floating Skull. 
Very nice. Very nice. Now, the Death Tyrant can be found on the Monster Manual, page 29. That's because it's right up there with the Beholders. Death Tyrant is a type of Beholder. But let's take a look and see how the picture looks compared to the miniature. So Beholders, Death Tyrant, there we go. So you can have a really good idea, they did a nice job. There's the Death Tyrant, and here is Death Tyrant Miniature. Death Tyrants are pretty cool. Uh, armor Class 19, 187 hit points. Uh, challenge rating of 14, so these things are nasty. They have a negative energy cone that the central eye emits, plus of course they have all their the, the other rays that they can shoot. So there is the charm, paralyzation, fear, slow, um, sleep, petrification, disintegration, things like that. Plus it has legendary actions. So very, very cool miniature to get. Our next one is a type of null. It's a flint, actually. And I believe that is actually in Volo's guide. Take a quick peek. I was right. Volo's guy, page 153. It's a type of null. I'm saying it is a null. It's just sort of like a like a class. Okay. Yep. Here we go. I was right. <clears throat> Volo's guy, 153. And again, you can see they did a really nice job of the image in the book compared to the actual miniature also. So, very, very cool. Uh, the Flynn, it is, like I said, humanoid null, chaotic evil. These are tougher than a normal null. Um, chain mail, armor class 16, 127 hit points, super nasty. They have a really cool thing called Aura of Bloodthirst. Um, if the Flynn is incapacitated, in, if the flint isn't incapacitated, any creature with the rampage trait can make a bite attack as a bonus action within 10 feet of the flint. So, very, very tough. Very nice pull. I already have a bunch of nulls looking forward to sort of adding into the chaos the next time I run them against the group. All right. Oh! Remember how I said I want to have like 30 of these? So I have two now. So I have another fluff. Which we talked about a little, a little earlier. And I don't mind getting doubles of miniatures. Some people sort of get upset when they get doubles, but I think it just helps, especially when I'm running big encounters, things like that. And the last one is going to be. Okay, we got one of these the other day. It's another elf cleric of the grave. Very nice miniature, though. What's cool is the spear, as well as a musical instrument on the back. I like it. Um, you can actually use this as a bard too, which I think is pretty cool. So we got some good miniatures today. We'll pull some more tomorrow and we see what we'll get. Don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook, follow on Twitter. Deeply appreciate it. Have a great day. Game on. Are you geek chic? I know I am. Thanks. Bye.